Yeah, not too rainy. Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel. My name is Michael. We got a full mug of coffee and a whole lot of work to do today. So let's get into it. Today is S4 day again. We are going to be working on the brakes for the fourth time. Uh, so this car, when it was new uh, from the factory, came with a single piston sliding caliper. Uh, that was just garbage, honestly. It was way underbraked. Uh, but there's a super popular bolt-on option, which are these right here. These are the uh, Audi Q5 optional slash Porsche Macan fixed calipers, four piston. Uh, I've done a whole bunch of videos on those. We've had those on the car for about a year and a half. Um, calipers work great. These rotors, however, do not. You can see even now, they're still kind of a blue color. Um, these don't have the heat capacity to keep up with this thing on even autocross, let alone track events. So... We're going to be changing that. So we're changing the rotors today. We're changing the pads today. We're bleeding the brakes today. And um, then we are also doing the same on the rear. The rear is a single piston sliding caliper affair, but of course the rear doesn't do nearly as much braking as the front. Um, and frankly, upgrades on the rear are really difficult because these have an electronic parking brake on them that sucks these calipers in. And anything involved with upgrading the rear brakes is a total faff on these. So uh, we're just gonna do uh, pads in on this. Actually, I don't think we even got rotors. We just have pads on here. We are gonna finally paint the calipers to match the fronts though. The other thing we have to do is uh, the brake fluid is shared with the clutch for the uh, clutch hydraulics, so the clutch master, clutch slave. Um, and because we got that fluid hot, we need to bleed that out on the clutch side too. So we're gonna be bleeding out the clutch slave, bleeding out all the, the brakes in the front, make sure we have fresh dot four and everything. Uh, again, new pads and rotors. We already have the brake ducts installed. We have already upgraded the, uh, the calipers, but yeah, those rotors just aren't doing it for us. Step one though is actually gonna be building this. This is Adams Polish's uh, rolling wheel stand. So when you take the wheel off the car, you can put it on the stand and then spin it so that you can work on the wheel itself. As you saw, our forged TSW Mechanicas are looking pretty rough these days. They really need a good clean and a re, um, uh, the ceramic coating put back on them. So I'm gonna start by building this. All right, there we have everything laid out. Uh, gotta say it was packaged really well. We had this foam stuff in here and the bubble wrap. Uh, everything was individually wrapped, real nice. I was trying to figure out why the box was so long. It's this piece here, it's the vertical piece, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so yeah. And no, this is not sponsored at all. Uh, my family paid full price for this. This was actually my father's day present, so I'm actually really excited for this thing. Uh, I've been wanting one for a long time. So yeah, really, really jazzed to have this. But yeah, it's uh, not sponsored. All right, first impressions are pretty favorable. The directions are a little um, Ikea hieroglyphics-like, uh, and there's some changes. Like, for example, my feet here had separate nuts and bolts, uh, but not a big deal. You could figure it out. Uh, it's powder-coated really nicely. The, the hardware seems to be high quality. I appreciate the lock nuts on the big pieces there, on the bigger ones. Um, they do give you the tools. They're a bit, you know, one-time usage, but it's also nice that it prevents you from over-tightening anything. So... Uh, yeah, so far so good. And there we go, all completed. And I gotta say, I like the color. I like the color. <laughs> but yeah, it went together really well. I appreciate that the uh, the powder coating finish on it has just a slight bit of texture on it. It's not super glossy, so um, that's going to be nice for like gripping it and stuff when you pick it up. Um, you can adjust the rollers here in the back to on your tilt angle. And then it says that it holds 14 to 22 inch rims, which um, actually I think the key the Q might have 21s or 22s on it. Uh, we only have 19s on the uh, the S4, so it'll work just fine for that. So yeah, we got this done. Now we're ready to shuffle all the cars, jack that thing up, and take some wheels off. All right, so we've got her up in there. We got three of the four wheels off, and number four is coming off right now. And uh, yeah, we can change the back pads, and we can get to the front brakes, change out these uh, pads, which normally you wouldn't have to take the calipers off at all, but we do have to do that to change these rotors, because these guys just aren't doing it for us. Hey look, our first wheel on the wheelie thing. Look at that. So you can spin it while you can clean it. You can also spin it around backwards and get inside the barrel and all that. Super excited for that. <laughs> and then here's our new brakes. We do have Hawks. We didn't have great luck with the Hawks on the Boxster project. I, I should... Uh, it, they stopped amazingly. They made a lot of dust. Uh, these are a different compound, so hopefully they don't do that. But really what we need to do is have this car stop. Uh, and then we have these Brembo... Uh, rotors. So I'm uh, going to get those all put on the car. Fine. All right. So we got it all apart. Here is our old rotors right here. These are males, M-E-Y-L-E. They're like an OE 
uh, equivalent or replacement and on the street they weren't bad on the track they were you can see how thin the actual rotor material is here and then you can see the construction on the veins in there uh, they don't come all the way in there's not very many of them these are new Brembo blanks and you can see how much thicker they are especially on the front face compared to the males and then when you look at the construction going through the the veins are done a lot better so these are significantly heavier too when I hold them up um, might have to get the scale out but this probably weighs a solid pound more than the males so this is gonna have a lot more heat capacity in it before they start overheating like the old ones did. So this is definitely a worthwhile upgrade. All right, let's see if my prediction rings true. Here's the original one. We got right at about 23 pounds, 15 ounces. Twenty five pounds, twenty four, about twenty four six, twenty four nine. So my my finely calibrated arm wasn't too far off. It's it's uh, about what fourteen ounces heavier, thirteen ounces heavier. So still close to a pound, like I said. All right, so we are inside the car now. We are connecting to our OBD eleven. Uh, thing here and yes I know the port is an OBD2 port the device is called OBD11 don't ask me why anyways we're connecting to that uh, so that we can retract our rear brake calipers so we do the pads on the back all right so we used the OBD11 app to retract the electronic parking brakes here in the back took everything apart got the old pads out cleaned everything up and got some paint on it so that the backs finally match the fronts we also, uh, you can see here, we got the new rotors on the front and the new brake pads. Now, I know I've shown this before, uh, but just wanted to show it again how these work. You've got these retaining pins here on the top and bottom, and this whole little spider thing in the middle. All you gotta do is pop these out, pull the spider bar off, and the pads come in and out. I'll show you on the other side. So you can see I've got this side uh, personally disassembled the spiders out. I've put the new pads in and again, they just literally uh, Slide in and out once you've retracted the calipers. So there is my pad slide it in and then I'm gonna put the spider piece on there Like so and slide the pins in and attach everything it's a bit awkward to do you kind of need three hands to do it uh, So it's a little impossible with the phone. But I've showed all this before on the actual install on these a couple of years ago Ta-da, through the Magic Film Editing, it is in. So you can see we've got our cross pins in now with our little spider thing in place. These aren't going anywhere, we are ready to go. We just need to bleed the brakes. So the fronts are completely replaced. It's also curious to see how the uh, ECS tuning brake ducts were working. They seem to be holding in there pretty good. We've had a little bit of rubbing uh, on them, which you can see is kind of eaten away here on the inside of the rim. Uh, we've also um, not had any other issues. I do want to clarify though, these are not actually brake ducks i just call them that because that's what ecs tuning calls them they're kind of just air diverters real brake ducts would have a hose connected uh, that goes up here to the caliper or to the inside of the rotor depending on the setup to actually force air to blow through everything these just kind of take air uh, coming under the suspension here and and, and turn it this way um, they do help uh, you know they're kind of more diverters than ducks but you know what uh, they're still worth having on there, especially at the price they are. But yeah, just, just know if you're running by 19 by nine and a half, you are gonna need to clearance it. Uh, and if you clearance it there beforehand, then you won't self clearance it on the wheel. All right, well that was a total pain in the butt, but these are finally done. So these single piston sliding calipers, man, they're a total pain in the butt. Um, even though you retract the electronic parking brake, you still have to retract the actual piston. Uh, and so you use some big old honking uh, channel locks to squeeze them. So got those little squeeze, and even then you kind of have to like work your way to beat this thing over because this, the parking brake motor here is so big and getting everything all around each other is kind of a faff. So, but it's on, it's done. We've got the new pads on the back. We didn't change the rotors on the back because uh, the rear brakes are actually done in the car right before we bought it. So they only have about 25,000 miles on them um, and they've never turned blue or overheated or had a problem. Um, in fact, we had never done the rear pads either. We had ABC reds on the front, but the backs were... I can't even remember some sort of uh, whatever the stock pad uh, from Audi was so um, yeah 
never had a, a need to do them, but now we've done them. We did get the rear calipers painted gold to match. And again, the fronts are all together and ready to go. We are ready to bleed, but first we have to reattach the rear parking brake thing. So I got to get on the app to do all that. We are plugging right along now. We've got all of the brakes done on the car. So rear pads are in, front pads are in, front rotors are in. Uh, did the electronic parking brake like release, sing everything apart, got it all back on now. So now the parking brake works again. Uh, so all good there. All we have left is to literally bleed the brakes. Uh, and then we're completely done with that. And we got some other stuff done. So our new wheel stand from uh, Adam's Polish has worked really, really, really nice. We got all four TSW Mechanicas polished up really nice. These wheels are just a pain in the butt to keep clean. They've got all these little uh, divots in them and little pockets that can hold dirt and grease. And then same thing with like in here. So uh, yeah, they're just, they're so hard to keep clean. Uh, these are going on, let's see, we bought the car in 2020. I think we bought the wheels also in 2020, maybe 21. Uh, so the wheels are going on two to three years old. Hi, Shadow. Um, and you know, they've had a couple of off track excursions <laughs> and things like that, uh, but we got them all nice and clean now, inside and out, you can see, uh, did a real nice job in the barrels too. Uh, tires are looking pretty darn good. Uh, got some nice even wear going on. A little bit of graining on the fronts. So I'm gonna move the fronts to the backs and put the uh, the backs in the fronts. Yeah. So these two are my two fronts. These are my backs. So you can see a little less graining. So I'll put the backs on the fronts. Uh, but one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let everything dry here now. Hi, Shadow again. And uh, we're gonna put a new uh, ceramic coat on all the wheels uh, to hopefully protect them for another year until we can do this again next spring. And then I think we'll be done. So yeah, we're gonna take a little break, have some food and stuff. Uh, been out here just at it for hours. Um, when we come back, we'll put uh, stream it coating on the wheels, uh, bleed the brakes, bolt everything back together, put the car on the ground, and uh, go for a test drive and uh, get the brakes all bedded in. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us. So just got back from uh, doing the first bed in on the brakes. Uh, drove with them cooling down. Now I'm gonna let them sit here and come all the way back to temp but they felt nice and strong got a great pedal we did a good job bleeding everything uh, sometimes these fixed piston calipers can be tricky because you've got a bleeder on each side uh, and if you get an air bubble down on the bottom it really sucks but did great with all that so everything is good there backs turned out real nice as well uh, they seem to be breaking in nicely again everything feels like it's doing its job so uh, with that we're gonna call this one done and good to go uh, now we are all ready for our next event, which is going to be Packwood. We are finally going back autocrossing in Packwood. It's been too long. The last time we went was actually last year in the S4. We had huge thunderstorms going on, like flash floods and all this stuff. So we didn't take the Boxster. And it was actually the first time we autocrossed the S4 because we're like, we don't want to drive through all this junk in the Boxster. And then of course we got there and it was perfect conditions the whole time we were racing. But, uh, you know, the car itself, it was really nice to have going back and forth well now we're racing it and so it's all ready it's going to be really fun so that's going to be next week's video when we are in packwood washington with oregon region scca uh, doing their regular autocrosses so uh we'll catch you in the next video